I will be putting out a uh, another uh, memo uh, lifting uh, the 10 days. So uh, both uh, private, public, and NMC, NMTI um, can resume back uh, to school and regular classes starting Monday of next week. The news comes as 2,700 doses of the Pfizer vaccine for children will arrive on Saipan on November 6. Vaccinations for 5 to 11-year-olds begin the same day on Saipan. The Rota and Tinian Health Centers will start administering the vaccine for kids on Monday. I'm very excited because now we get to get the opportunity and we're very fortunate and blessed uh, to have uh, the possibility of having our children from age 5 to 11 get vaccinated. Um, that will cover a whole new um, spectrum of age. Uh, and that's what we want. Uh, we want to, to give this opportunity for our children. Um, and so I look forward in mandating, um, hopefully, uh, work with PSS, uh, CHCC, uh, the task force, uh, and see what we can do to mandate and hopefully get all of our children. Um, get vaccinated. And that also includes his children. I have uh, four more that needs to be vaccinated between age of five and 11. But he says they still have to meet with education leaders to finalize the new protocol in lockstep with CDC guidelines if more positive cases are identified on campus. It's fluid. Uh, we say one thing and then next time uh, it may change. Doesn't mean that uh, we're going back on our words. It comes at a time when Saipan reports 48 active cases, 46 of whom are from the community. The demographic of all these cases, um, at least for the children under 18, there's about 23 uh, kids uh, that have been uh, confirmed positive with the youngest at least four months old. The clinical status for these patients, there's about 27 with symptoms. Most of them are mild and two with moderate symptoms, but they have, uh, and four had received treatment of uh, Regencov infusions. There has been no hospitalization, hospitalization required in this group so far. She says the community cases does not appear to be widespread. We do support the resumption of classes. The coalition of private schools already announced and um, have been very proactive ensuring a safe environment for their students by using these preventive measures. And after days of investigations, she says they may have identified the source of transmission. We have uh, information that linked these cases to an essential worker that was non-compliant and was actually returned to the quarantine site but decided to leave the CNMI because he was not allowed to exit during quarantine. Uh, seems all these cases are linked to this particular uh, individual. Essential workers are often reminded that if you're here to do essential work, we ask that you also show your love for this community and follow the, the guidelines issued to you. They expect to make changes to the travel entry protocol in the coming weeks. Tomas Manglotnia for KUAM News.